one aspect of the evidence stands out the most, and that is the surreptitious recording of Michael Jackson by his trusted doctor. And I have repeatedly asked myself, why did this happen and for what reason? And I can speculate and surmise that there might have been some justifiable reason, some benefit to Michael Jackson that would be an entirely unreasonable conclusion. That tape recording was Dr. Murray's insurance policy. It was designed to record his patient surreptitiously at that patient's most vulnerable point. I can't even imagine that happening to any of us because of the horrific violation of trust. And I can't help but wonder that if there had been some conflict between Michael Jackson and Dr. Murray at a later point in time in their relationship, what value would be placed on that tape recording? If the choice were to release that tape recording to a media organization to be used against Michael Jackson. 